Well, some of you may be curious about what we're doing making these briquettes here. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of the process that we're trying out. First of all, what we do is we take uh, some of this oat hay. You can see we've got a lot of it this year. We're taking some of this last year's oat hay that we probably won't feed to the cows. And then we take with, uh, in small quantities, uh, we take the electric lawnmower we have here and we shred it into smaller tiny pieces. And then it, we mix half and half has been our recipe so far uh, with sawdust we have here from a local um, woodworking shop. And we mix that uh, half and half and we've been putting it into this tub here and then uh, covering it with water, letting it soak overnight, so mainly for the hay particles to get really soft and where they'll break apart. And then the next day, what we've done is we have this uh, old uh, commercial blender here that uh, we take and uh, put by the handfuls of the uh, hay sawdust mixture down into the blender and then with plenty of water behind it uh, we whir it up and then we dump it next into into this uh, the pop bottle crate thing and what that allows is just the water to drain off uh, off our table surface here and then we take handfuls of that over to the press and here I've got the uh, press set up and um, let me let me start it uh, at the beginning here so you can see um, what we have is uh, this piece here it's just a flange with uh, a half inch piece of pipe on it uh, that'll make the hole up through the center of the briquette and then we have our mold which is just a piece of four inch PVC pipe with some uh, drainage holes uh, drilled into the side so we set that onto the press and then we just get handfuls of this wet kind of like uh, mash kind of stuff and it's just the pulverized hay and sawdust and we've just been putting it into down into the mold and haven't quite come up with a quantity or amount that works but we just put it, been putting in oh, about three-fourths then we have this uh, second piece here which is just another flange uh, with a one inch pipe and then we put a cap on the top and then that just fits down over that center pipe there and then we grab hold of the press and uh, pull pull the lever down and you see uh, the moisture inside the mixture will just ooze out through the holes then we raise up the press again and we take a little wooden block set down in there and then we uh, press again and squeeze out more of the moisture, water inside, and then we kind of come up and do it once or twice more. Then we uh, raise the press, and then uh, I've got uh, these two little blocks. I don't know if I can do this single-handed here. We'll try to bring the blocks closer together, just on the edge of the of the PVC there and uh, we'll come down one more time with the press and uh, to eject the underneath it'll it'll push down our briquette and then we'll take it all here to the to the table and then if i can do this single-handedly then we just press down on that center this is tricky do it one hand there we go I lift off the mold and underneath we've got the briquette we lift up you can see there's that half inch pipe and it's got the flange underneath and then what I've been doing let me just see if I can uh, I'm gonna pause this here so uh, what we've done then is we just take and I've just been twirling that inside uh, piece and then carefully oh, it's breaking up now this one, this one's crumbled here. It's fallen apart. But basically what we've been getting are briquettes that, that kind of look like these giant oversized donuts here with the hole. And I've just been setting them to dry. And uh, then we'll, later on as they dry and harden, uh, we'll uh, attempt to uh, test them in the wood stove and hopefully uh, get some nice heat from them. That's it.